we're doing. Okay, so today we're in Hoyk, uh, we're here with Hamish Smith, uh, that's anyway's lovely shop, uh, and we're here today with his torch as well. So we're just going to do a little interview um, about the torch really, and about obviously the wonderful torch that you made from Hoyk. Okay, so um, so did you actually see the torch really at all, or have you been kind of... No, I've been today? too busy, I've never been able to see it, no. So what made you kind of make this torch then for Hoyk? Well really, this was an initiative by Janice Chapman for the, the headmistress of Burnfoot Community School, Primary School. And she gathered together all the schools in the area, 10 or 11 schools, and all the teachers, headmasters and everybody. And they started this huge project for the countdown to the year 2014, when the Hoyt Common Riding will be 500 years since uh, the Battle of Flood and after Flood, and uh, uh, the return from Holland's Hole, which represented by the, the Hush Monument. Now, sorry it's a long-winded story, but basically they wanted to have a year of sport this year. Now that is a school's project and that's their initiative. Now by luck they needed a, a torch, some form of representation similar to the Olympic torch because this happens to be the Olympic year. But more importantly this is the countdown to the year 2014 of the Hoyt Common Riding, which is much more important than the Olympics. So obviously when they spoke to me, I said, yeah, I can easily make a torch uh, that would look sim th something similar. And this was for the children to use, and I kind of really going on for months, every day, <coughs> carried from school to school. And then each school would hold it and use it for two or three weeks and do events, you know, hockey or cycling or various different ways of using the torch. And uh, since the, the 25th of January, when this torch was pre uh, presented to the town and the schools, the, the schools in this area have used this torch every single day, Saturdays and Sundays included. They've taken it to the top of local hills, they've taken it to hospitals, schools, factories, shops, businesses, everywhere around about the community, every single day since the 25th of January. Oh, you must be proud of the torch then. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lucky man. I was in the right place at the right time. When they um, asked me, well, we spoke about it, and uh, I said, well, when do we need it? And they said, obviously 2012. And me being me, I thought, oh, that's a year away. I've plenty of time. Of course, then they, they told me they wanted it for the 18th of January. So it was a bit of a, a spooky, as we say, like, you know, uh, to get this finished in time. I had to worry about it a lot because it had to look good, it had to be able to be handled, it had to be strong enough, it had their batteries in it, it couldn't be too heavy for children, the diameter of the grip had to be able, you know, for a child to hold it, to carry it. And really, when I made it, you can see it was a prototype because I wasn't sure if it was going to withstand the rigours of it getting carried about so much. But after all these months, it seems to be still in good condition. I've never seen it for oh, weeks no. and weeks because um, it's on the go. And I tried to catch it up at, say, one of the Sturgey schools or something like that. Oh, it, it's not here, Hamish. It's away on top of a hill or it's in a trench. <laughs> the children carried it far and wide. And it's a great thanks to the to Janice Chapman and the schools, the, the work they've put into to, to making this such a big project, wonderful. Of course, it ended in Tuesday past there, in a big day when you had 1,700 children walking along past here on their way up to the park, and they had an archer firing a flaming torch to light, the, light it up, and a uh, fantastic project. And do you think it will carry on then after, you know, even though the torch is kind of, it's done and over, but do you think that it will carry on with the schools? Do you think they'll carry on doing activities and that kind of thing like this? No, because I think the torch will continue to be used at local events just for a bit of fun. You know, I'm getting my photograph taken with a white torch. Uh, because the schools are moving on, they will be organised in the year of, um, I think it's a year of heritage next year which again is going to be, they're even planning things for the year 2014 as we speak. Janice Chapman is planning everything. So there's a lot going on and I don't think they'll have time to use the torch as much, but it still will be on the go. How about the common riding? Do you think that's going to uh, be fantastic then? Good event? 
obviously, yeah, every year's the best of all, as we say in Hoyt, you know. But the, the torch coincides with the Olympic torch missing Hoyt out, which is a bad thing. They shouldn't have missed Hoyt out. We're the biggest town in the borders. You know, why could they not have brought it through Hoyt on the way to Celtic and Gala Shields? So this sort of coincides with the fact that now we've got our own Hoyt torch. And we've turned our, our anger at not seeing the real torch coming through Hoyk, we've turned it into pride, pride in our in Hoyk torch. And this is how the people in Hoyk look at it. And it's just been wonderful to have been, for me to have been part of this whole thing. We definitely should be proud of it. It is a masterpiece, I must say. <laughs> and I'm very lucky to have held it earlier. Lovely. It's brilliant. Get your uh, photograph. <laughs> I will. Thank you very much for your time today.